Christian, break from league action, beat Macclesfield on Saturday in the FA Trophy quarterfinals, and you can almost see Wembley. Yeah, it's a uh, great opportunity for us to play at Wembley. Um, we're going to have to go there and, and be ready to go because we know how hard it is. We've played them this year already at their place and uh, got the 1-0 win, but it was a real tough game. Um, so we're going to have to be there ready to go and uh, been training all week on, on how, to, how to play against them. So um, hopefully we'll get the job done and, and get through to the quarters, is it? That's right, yeah. 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 Obviously, with Macclesfield, they've lost a couple of players in the in the window to league clubs. They've signed a player on loan from Wigan as well. Technically weakened, but they've, they've had a great January. They won five out of six, so it still will be a tough game. Well, exactly. If they've won five out of six, you can hardly say they've weakened their, weakened their team. And the manager seems to know what he's doing if he's getting five results out of six. So, um, fair play to him, but uh, we're going to go there to win. and. Uh, We've not really been on a bad run, really. We've got picked up a couple of draws. We could have won and stuff like that. And Saturday we done brilliant. So um, to get the last minute winner, so uh, the morale's really high at the club at the moment. So hopefully we can get there, go there and get the win. I mean, it was horrendous on Saturday in terms of conditions and the balls up in the air a lot. But the whole team really stood up to it, didn't they? Yeah, well, I think we just uh, embraced it. It was uh, it was a good test and uh, we really enjoyed it. Um, it's a great way to win last minute. Um, we've won that way a couple of times this season, and uh, the, the feeling in the dressing room after was was brilliant. And um, we're really we're really buzzing now. We're taking every game as it comes, and uh, we can't wait for the next one. Yeah, it was quite interesting hearing that 1990s classic on in the change room. Who was responsible for that one? There's a couple of people who are in charge. Goz has come straight in, to be fair, and uh, he's on the he's the DJ for a bit. Nobs likes his old school tunes. And then you've got all the all the all the lads uh, who like the rap and stuff like that. So um, it's a bit of a mix at the moment. We've yeah. got to sort it out, really. Yeah, I mean the, the one classic I kept hearing was "Ride on Time" by Black Box. You would have probably been about five when that first came probably, out. Probably, yeah, yeah, <laughs> probably, um, probably Nobles. Thanks to that, Scott Lindsay likes likes his music as well. So um, it wouldn't surprise me if he put that on as well. Yeah. Talking of Macclesfield again, it's going to be a, bit, a little bit similar in a way to Barrow, isn't it? It's that difficult place that the crowd get on, the, the refs back, their teams back, but again, something that you've got to the word you used, embrace it. Yeah, we've definitely got to embrace it. Um, all these all these places are really hard to go to and pick up results, and a lot of people struggle um, at these places, but um, our away form's been really good this year, so um, hopefully we can get there get the job done and uh, get on to the next round. Yeah, I want to talk about your form now. You're getting a regular run in, run in the team. You know, the team's more settled now. 11 goals in the last 11 games. You'll probably be able to tell me how many in starts. I think it's about 15 in about 22 starts. So um, it's not too bad. Would you say that's your sort of richest goal scoring thing? Um, i say my second year, um, Kramar, I know it's the same kind of thing. Um, I was scoring a lot of goals there and towards the back end of last year at Dagenham I was, I was banging them in as well so um, yeah it's just something I've got to I keep pushing and um, don't slow down now and work even harder on the training pitch to, um, to keep going and uh, if I score more goals there's a better chance of us getting promoted and that's the overall goal so um, hopefully I can do that. When I first met you at the start of the season you in some ways not, I wouldn't say embarrass yourself, but you you did actually say I set myself a target of twenty, and then said I shouldn't have said that. But you're you're well on your way now, Christian. With fifteen, there's a lot of the season still to go, so you must be delighted. Well, yeah, um, I, I said that, and obviously you've got to set high standards yourself. And I know what I'm capable of. So um, it was tough at the start of the season. We were doing a lot of rotation, and we had four strikers in, and we were rotating a lot. Um, but now it's um, I'm playing a lot more regular and. When it seems it almost seems when you start scoring goals, the boys are finding the life looking for you a little bit more. So we're um, getting more opportunities. So um, overall, I'm, I'm I'm really happy with my form at the moment. But um, I just got to keep going now. Do you relish that role playing up on your own? Because I mean, you've got to do everything, haven't you, in that role role as the single striker? Well, yeah. A lot of people before have said that because um, I do so much work off the ball, I, uh, like I don't really get the opportunity to score very often. But um, now I've brought a couple of goals into my game, it's improved my game and it's made me a better player, so um, something I definitely embrace, but I enjoy doing doing all the um, all the hard work as well as all the good work, so um, that'll never change, so um, just really enjoy 
being the, the vocal point in the, in the team and um, hopefully I can still be that towards the end of the season.